members of the Liberal Party recently met in Ottawa for their biennial convention. They voted on many policy resolutions, including one in favor of the legalizing, regulating, and taxing of marijuana. Amanda Zotek spoke to students and the U of C Liberal Party Association president to get their take on the controversial topic. Natalie Hilbrecht is a youth liberal and president of U of C's Young Liberal Association. She's precisely the demographic the third spot party is looking for to support the new platform and revitalize the party with Canadian youth. It's interesting, ever since uh, our defeat on May 2nd, we've been really looking at rebuilding the party and kind of listening to what Canadians have to say. I think it'll be really interesting because I think it'll attract a lot of new people who maybe haven't really followed the party before or haven't been overly passionate about politics. At the convention, we passed a constitutional amendment which opens our party up to supporters, so people who aren't really super keen on actually being a member of a party can still support us and vote for our new leader. So it's kind of a way to say, like, you don't have to marry us, you can date us and see what you think. So I think that we're looking to really expand our base and welcome new people to the party. I think definitely think this will revitalize the party. It's a pretty uh, dramatic proposition they're putting forward. Sounds like something the NDP would usually do. Um, so revitalize long term, I don't know, sh short term for sure. Uh, do I think it's the right thing? This is something I think our, our society will never really solve for a long time. So. I think it definitely highlights a stark contrast between the Conservative Party and the Liberal Party. Ours is actually a more economical option than building more prisons, putting more people in jail and creating more criminals by putting th them through a harsher system than they need to go through. Legalizing it is a good idea. The thing that I would be concerned with though is how would it be taxed? So, and how would it be sold? And who would have control of that? Uh, there's some very interesting questions about that, so it'd be interesting to see how they would handle all that. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's, it's alcohol, it's tobacco, it's already there. Um, so I think it's a big step for Liberal government. I do. I know um, the, the interesting thing about the Omnibus Crime Bill, the uh, Safer Streets, Safer Communities Act, is that uh, they kind of fail to look at a lot of the evidence in Canada right now, such as uh, the, the fact that crime is going down. I think it definitely does come at a convenient time for the Liberal government just because um, they'll, they'll definitely get more of the youth vote with this because the Harper government is putting in so much effort against it. A lot of young people have come out in support and I know that a lot of my friends who are fairly apathetic or even tending towards conservative have said, oh, that's an interesting thing you guys are doing. So I, I hope that it'll translate into more support. Don't know everything about it, but I know we, we're wasting time on small things and we can solve other problems. There's probably more things we can focus on comparatively than marijuana. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Reporting for NUTV, this is Amanda Zotek.